Hello everyone, this is Trainboy1522 Productions, and uh, today I'm going to be doing my first railroad crossing tour video. So I'm here at the Exchange Street Railroad Crossing in Galva, Illinois, and um, I decided to film this particular crossing since it's the most interesting in this town. So um, without any further ado, let's begin. So we got this massive cannelly right over here. And it is a safe tran cantilever. Um, I'm not sure what type exactly, but I know it's a safe tran. And uh, the lights on it, or the mass lights particularly, are a pair of safe tran 12 by 24 inch lights, which um, still have the incandescent lights in them. And uh, the overhead lights are also safe trend 12 by 24 inch lights with the incandescent lights in them particularly bulbs but yeah and uh that's about it for the cantilever so let's take a look at the uh the gated signal next to it so um this has a western colon haze base and it has a western colon haze gate mechanism and the lights on it are a pair of Western Colon Haze um, 12 by 24 inch lights, also incandescent, being held up by a Western Railroad Supply bracket. And the gates, the gate lights, are a pair of Rico LED gate lights. And um, yeah. It has uh, one of the features about this gate mechanism. It also has the pedestrian gate connected on the back. So, yeah, that's about it for the signal or the cantilever and the gated signal. So let's go over to the other signal across the tracks. All right, so we're on the other side of the tracks and the road. So here we have this the other signal here, and. Um, this has a Western Colon Haze base, and it also has another Western Colon Haze gate mechanism. I believe these gate mechanisms and the bases are early, from the sometime like the early days. I'm not sure exactly, but some of you guys can tell me about that. And um, the lights, the lights on this signal are a pair of Safe Tran. 12 by 24 inch lights, also with the incandescent bulbs in them, as you can see right there. And they're all being held by a safe tran light bracket. And the gate lights are also Rico LED gate lights. And to end off for this signal, this has a general signals type two electronic bell. I believe so, but I'm not if you guys can correct me, then that's it. I don't really know that much about him, but I'm pretty sure that's a type two. So um, over here we got the relay case. And of course this is owned by the BNSF. And over here we got the old Railway Express Agency uh, sightings that used to be here. Well, they're still here, but they're abandoned now. And um, over there used to be the depot. So let's go over to the other side of the tracks to look at the pedestrian gate. All right, so we're over here next to the pedestrian gate, and this is probably one of the most interesting of them all. This is a, an old, I believe, Griswold pedestrian gate mechanism. And um, they, this has been here, I believe, since the 1960s or 50s or whatever, you, whatever it was. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, really neat. And um, it has, of course, a modern gate next on it. I'm not. I'm pretty sure back then this in, this gate used to have a wishbone gate on it. And uh, even though this thing has been on the line for over like i would say more than 50 years around like almost 60 i would say this thing still is pretty good condition and still functions 
It's really neat. And um, so I'm gonna show you the track view. Down there goes to um, Galesburg, Illinois. Um, and uh, would go on other subs and uh, continue on down the lines to Iowa or Missouri. And down that way leads to Aurora, Illinois, and eventually would join the BNSF racetrack and go all the way to Chicago. So yeah, this is the Exchange Street Railroad Crossing. I hope you enjoyed this first crossing tour. It wasn't really planned, but I decided to do it anyway. So thank you for watching.